model with an earth only as big as this marble, you need seven miles of empty space. So that's why we're here. Once the time lapse is ready, we'll drive each orbit with a light. Hopefully, you'll be able to tell just how big they really are. Onward to the outer planets. So that was the inner planets, Mercury, Venus, the Earth, and then Mars. And then we have the asteroid belt, and then we have the outer planets, of which they, they do neglect to use Pluto, which was a planet when I was a kid. Now it's not a planet anymore. It's, but it's got moons, but it's not a planet. Anyway, uh, here's a look at the outer planets and then all the orbits all together. So I hope you're watching Infowars.com forward slash show. If you can't watch it now, this will be up on YouTube on the Alex Jones channel in a few hours. So you can check it out then. But here is the outer planets. That tiny light out there is our sun just over a mile away. So that was Saturn they just showed. Here's Uranus. Uranus. Much bigger orbit. I mean, these are beautiful time lapses of just how vast our solar system is. And finally, they're going to end with Neptune, which is way out there, seven miles away from the sun with this scale model. And that is with the Earth the size of a marble and the sun the size of a two-meter balloon. I mean, that's where we live, people. And everything works together. All these planets also have their own gravity that work in conjunction with the sun's gravity. And it all has an effect on us somewhere or another. And that's what we have to realize, that we are all on this really small planet living together. And we may not all get along all the time, but we all have to live here. And if and Muslims have to make room for Christians and Christians have to make room for Muslims, as long as they're respecting each other's space and laws. And I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. The final video here is the astronauts who have, they interview some of the astronauts who talked, uh, who have seen the earth from orbit. And here's what they had to say. And he also ends with a, a, a little term that Alex likes to use, how we're just a small little ball floating in space. So I really wanted to get that out there. And uh, here's that last clip. 24 people in the entire history of the human species, billions of people who have actually seen the full circle of the Earth with their own eyes. Following the breakfast, the astronauts went to the soup room where they donned their space suits. This is man's attempt to get to the moon. Zero. We have liftoff. Liftoff at 7.51. In Earth orbit, the horizon is just slightly curved. When you head on out to the moon, the horizon slowly curves around and upon itself, and all of a sudden you're looking at something that is very strange, but it is very, very familiar. Oh, my God, look at that picture over there. Wow, is that pretty? You can put your thumb up, and you can hide the Earth behind your thumb. Everything that you have ever known, all behind your thumb. Not any bigger than that, way up there. It's really beautiful. You can cry. That's what I really wanted to try and, and capture. We are on a marble floating in the middle of nothing. When you sort of come face to face with that, it's, it's staggering. It sure is staggering, and... That's kind of the message, I guess, for the weekend when you're out there and either supporting Trump or supporting the Pope or out there protesting some event. Uh, we just all have to remember we all are living on this planet together. It's very important to point out government corruption whenever you can. That's how I feel. And, uh, you know, the people of Catalonia are actually kind of done with paying for everybody in the rest of the country of Spain and they want to vote for independence. There, It looks like they're on their path of voting for independence. When I was in Barcelona, there were Catalonia flags everywhere. Everybody was flying them. And that was one thing people did want to talk about, although nobody wanted to talk about anything on camera. I think they're afraid of those new Spanish laws where if you speak out, show pictures of police, anything like that, you could get fined or arrested. Um, Aaron, are you still there? And are you ready to make your comment on the Pope? 
Yeah, I'm still here. All right, uh, go for it. Yes, the uh, zip code on that real quick is 64079 at uh, Operation Back on Our Feet. But the Pope is just, I'm sitting there watching them on uh, ABC, uh, first on NBC, and they don't have a translator. So I switch over to ABC. And I just get like this really weird feeling, no matter if it was yesterday when he was with the president or today in New York or, you know, probably in Philadelphia also. All right, hold on, Aaron. You've got a long-winded explanation. We're going to break. We'll be back. Liam McAdoo is going to tell us what's going on in the InfoWars Nightly News tonight. It's the Overdrive Hour. This is Rob Dew hosting the Alex Jones Show. Thanks for watching. Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. and now to 3 p.m. Central, you've got the Alex Jones Show. Four hours, so be sure you call your radio station home to carry that fourth hour. And if you want to see us on TV, go to Infowars.com forward slash Money Bomb and download that informational packet and send that to your local station manager and say, get Infowars on TV. We got five hours of shows that we're doing, the four-hour Alex Jones Show, the one-hour nightly news, and we will be adding more in the future. So join us. Get us out there on satellite. We are sending it out into space. So uh, let's look and see what's going on in InfoWars right now. Got top three articles here on our featured section. Feminist versus facts and logic. This is going to get ugly. It's a Paul Joseph Watson article, and it follows the adventures of the slut walk girl. What's her name? Lauren Southern. And uh, so it should be some. I have not watched those videos yet. It just went up a little bit ago. Ontario moves to ban mother, father on government forms. Person, person. Uh, EOEA, I mean, documents, British government spied on everyone's web activity, targeted internet radio listeners. Ah, of course we knew that was going on. And uh, joining me now in studio is Leanne McAdoo to talk about what's coming up on the nightly news. Leanne, what do you have coming up? Well, we're definitely going to be speaking about that particular article as well, because it's not just InfoWars that's being targeted. Anyone with a dissenting opinion, and even if you don't have a dissenting opinion, even if they're going to they're pre-crime you and see if you are a potential criminal or a potential uh, person that's going to go out there and protest and, and mess up this good thing they've got going on. They don't want anyone messing up their power that they've been able to accumulate so obviously the, the White House's FBI task force investigating InfoWars is going to be one of our top stories. Right. Then we're going to get into this Boehner resigning. B from Before you get to that, that, yeah. that's a, that, article, that video that Alex put together did it all in one take. Yeah. Front to back, no stops. The man's a pro. He, he knows how to talk. And speaking <laughs> of that, we have James from California who wants to talk on the FBI raid. And then we'll get to the sure, crying else. game with Boner. <laughs> James, how's it going? Hey, good. How are you guys doing? Doing great. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, um, yeah, I turned on the uh, computer today. I've been busy working, but saw that article, made me jump out of my seat. Uh, first, I want to say Yahoo for raising that money and uh, going satellite link up. Um, I got my butt chewed by my wife. I'm spending too much money buying a bunch of stuff from you guys. But <laughs> anyway, hey, the good thing is you can use the stuff, you know? Right. That's, that's great. Well, some, some of it was for her. I got her the brain force. She's uh, going to... Uh, college right now getting her degree and working so i figured she needs the extra extra Aww, boost that's a thoughtful husband and uh <laughs> and i stocked up on the super meal so that makes me even more wonderful right uh -oh. yeah. <laughs> do you guys have kids yet <laughs> yeah we do have a five-year-old actually um you yeah, might be getting more kids <laughs> oh yeah definitely <laughs> but um <clears throat> so i live in uh, san francisco which is the most corrupt city probably in the country mm -hmm. and uh but anyways, I saw this article. It freaked me out. So I'm just wondering if you guys got, not that you need to discuss on the air, but there's a plan, you know, to protect you guys because if something went down, it would be really bad. It would be bad for everybody. And uh, I think Alex can appreciate that. But I grew up, I was an uh, athlete, played football my whole life, all through school, put myself through college, and there's this drill <clears throat> where you're surrounded by your teammates and you're in the middle of this circle and everyone gets a number and they call it a number and they come out and just – you know, wacky one, and that's how I feel like, you know, being in this info war is that we're just getting attacked from every position, you know, the 12 o'clock, the 6 o'clock. Exactly. We have to be ready, and we are ready. We do have contingency plans in place if anything were to happen. Uh, join us tonight, 7 p.m. Central, yes. Leanne McAdoo. You're going to be talking about Boner, right? Yeah, more on Boner, resigning from the most powerful position in government. I'm sure it's because he's... No, I, I, I can't. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
And we'll play that crying awful. game video again. His crying face is almost yeah. as bad as Kim Kardashian. God, it's disgusting. <laughs> that just about wraps it up for today. I'm your host, Rob Dew, doing the fourth hour of Overdrive. You can join us every day, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Central for the nightly news. Infowars.com is the website where you can find everything. Join us once again tonight and then tomorrow, or actually the Sunday show, and then back here on Monday, 11, 11 a.m. Central. Thanks for watching.